Hi everyone. Um, yeah. Are we looking at the right uh, angle today? Because I'm still not very used to... Yeah, can you hear me? Is everything okay? Hi Joanna, you are the first one to come up. I'm sure you have all the ingredients ready, yeah? Okay, so let's on both our machines. I have TM5 here and I have TM6 here. Now, as promised, today we are going to cook a recipe from my volume 5 cookbook. Okay, but because I only have a limited mince pork, I'm going to half the portion for you. And I think by cooking 450 gram of um, mince pork to serve with uh, pasta, it is just uh, the right proportion of protein to carbs. Okay, so um, you don't need to cook the whole portion, all meat, 900 gram of mince pork, if you um, do not have enough mince pork like me. I only have 450 gram. That's why I am going to half the amount for you. Okay, so today we are going to cook this recipe. If you have this book, you can turn to that page. Like I said, the ingredients that I give you in Facebook page yesterday for you to prepare um, is only half the portion of the meatballs recipe. But as for the tomato sauce, we are cooking full amount. Because if there is any leftover of tomato sauce, you can always keep it for other users. Um, like um, for your pizza, alright? Okay, so um, let's uh, take a look at what we need to do now. We need to make the meatballs, okay? First, we need to place uh, one clove of garlic and uh, one shallot, okay? And one shallot, can see or not? One clove of garlic and one shallot. We need to chop this in TM bowl. Put this in TM bowl and chop for five seconds. At speed five. Okay, that's one garlic and one shallot in TM bowl. Chop for five seconds at speed five. All right. One garlic and one shallot, one clove and one shallot. Now we are going to push this down and add in the rest of the ingredients. Means you add in everything. Okay. So what are the rest of the ingredients? Okay, we have 450 gram of minced pork. 450 gram put in uh, we have 50 gram of chopped um, bacon put in and uh, what else do we need we need 40 gram of breadcrumbs 40 gram of breadcrumbs all right in and uh, what else do we need we need um half an egg okay half an egg all right and okay this one is a mixture of half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of onion powder, uh, a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika powder, okay, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of um, fresh ground black pepper, okay? So, um, all in first. Oh, okay, all in first. And then we are going to um, mix this for five minutes. Five minutes reverse. Speed three. 
All right. Okay. So for those of you who just joined in, we are making the meatballs now. Now what I did is um, I blend one clove of garlic and one shallot in the TM bowl for um, for five seconds at speed five. Then I add in the rest of the ingredients, which is 450 gram of minced pork, uh, 50 gram of chopped bacon, 40 gram of uh, breadcrumbs, uh, half an egg, uh, and uh, um, I also put in uh, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of um, salt, a quarter teaspoon of uh, pepper and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika powder and I also add in a little bit of um, herbs okay, dried herbs I'm using this one you can use dried oregano or Italian herbs um, if you want to know what brand I use for my smoked paprika powder I'm using this one okay so um, yeah, this one we are mixing it for 5 minutes reverse speed 3 okay now let's uh, cook a, uh, some pasta to go with our meatballs. So let's bring, uh, what I have here is, I put in some water, a uh, one liter, which is 1000 gram. I put in a uh, half a teaspoon, uh, no, one tablespoon of uh, cooking oil and half a tablespoon of salt. Let's bring this to a boil. Seven minutes, 100 degrees Celsius. Speed one, okay. When the because this is TM five and we do not have the kettle function, so we have to manually uh, bring the water to a boil. Normally, for one liter of water, one thousand gram of water, it's uh, around seven to eight minutes at hundred degrees Celsius. So now we are boiling this water. When the water comes to a boil, we will add in our pasta to cook. I'm cooking 300 gram of pasta for my family today. Okay, so all right. So um, for those of you who just joined in, we are making a recipe from my volume five cookbook. Today we are making this recipe. Okay. Now, if you have the book, you can cook the whole portion which is 900 gram of minced pork but uh, for me, I have limited minced pork and I want to serve these meatballs together with um, pasta so I'm just cutting half the recipe, okay? The, the ingredients that I have prepared for you yesterday night is actually half the recipe of what you have here which is 450 gram of minced pork Today, we are cooking 450 gram of minced pork, alright? So, um... Later on, when this is done, we will shape the meatballs and pan fry here while this TM6 continue to coat the tomato sauce for us. Okay, this TM5 is going to cook our pasta. Now, I'm just boiling the water because TM5 does not have the auto kettle function. Okay, so um, let's talk a bit about my cookbooks. For those of you who are new today, um, I have a total of five cookbooks. Of course, this is the latest one. This is volume five. This is volume four. This is volume three. This is volume two. And this is volume one. Okay. Now, no recipes are repeated in any of my cookbooks and uh, if you do not have a thermal mix, you can order one of course um, but uh, you can still use my um, cookbook for the time being because all recipe books comes with conventional cooking steps okay, all recipes, uh, all recipe books comes with a conventional cooking section for non thermomix users all right um, all cookbooks comes with steps for TM31 TM5 and uh, TM6 so um, no worries you can purchase my cookbooks from my website
which is www.anysaviorkitchen.com Alright So This is the meatballs mixture I'm going to dish this out and quickly rinse the bowl with a bit of water and uh, then we will proceed with making the tomato sauce all right let's pour this out Okay. Use a chopstick. We are going to add in a bit of water to bleach the bowl uh, without soap. Okay, we are going to quickly rinse this for 10 seconds at speed 10. and you can use this to cook your um, tomato sauce so we will cook the tomato sauce now let's take a look at the recipe now the tomato sauce recipe I've given you a full recipe okay um, because any leftover tomato sauce is very versatile for you to use use it for other uh, for other recipes like uh, pizzas you know or make into a, a, another pasta so um, now we have to put um, to cook the tomato sauce. We place the tomatoes, which is four hundred gram of tomatoes, four cloves garlic, and four shallots. Four hundred gram, four cloves garlic, and four shallots. Four shallots. Cook. Four shallots. Okay. Wait. So all in. And uh, we are going to blend this for 10 seconds at speed 6. Pasta through the MC hole 
and cook for 12 minutes. Hundred degree, reverse spoon speed. Okay, we will cover the MC hole when all the pasta has swirled inside the TM bowl. Okay, 400 gram of tomatoes, four cloves garlic, and four shallots blend for 10 seconds at speed six. Okay, so now we will um, put this and add in the rest of the ingredients, okay, to cook for 14 minutes, Varoma Speed 1. What are the rest of the ingredients? Uh, we need 4 teaspoons of sugar. Four teaspoon of sugar. Here I have mixed uh, salt, paprika powder, and uh, pepper, and also a bit of dried oregano. Okay, so all in. And uh, yeah, we also need one teaspoon of this uh, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, one teaspoon. Now, I think I need a bit of uh, paprika. Let's put in a bit more of the paprika. Okay. And then we are going to cook this for 14 minutes. Varoma. Um, speed one. Okay. So now this is almost done. Yeah. Alright. So now we will proceed to um, shaping. Um, the, the meatballs and pan fry the meatballs here okay so hang on for a while let me take the let me go and uh, shape this for a while so I hope you can see I'm going to adjust um, adjust uh, the phone so that you can see all right, so that you can see the the pan. Can see or not? Is it okay? Can see? Can see the pan? Hi. Hello. Say hi. Hello. Hi. Go. Okay. So we are going to shape the meatballs. Wait, uh, let me talk to my daughter for a while. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me shape the meatballs. Even 450 grams is quite a lot, you see. Okay, I think I will shape it before I, I heat up the pan. Let me shape all the balls first. Now, this is the time that um, if you are a, an advisor for Thermomix, and if you wish to introduce yourself here, so please do put in your name, your comments, in the comments, 
uh, and introduce yourself that you are an advisor from your location. Um, please uh, put in your location as well. And um, yeah, talk a bit about your service. What do you give as an advisor to your customers who purchase a Thermomix from you? Let's say um, if you are, uh, you give very good after sales support. So just describe a little bit in the comments that you give very good after sales support to your customers. Say for example, you will organize online cooking class via Zoom to all your customers only. Or you have a, um, a after sales support cooking club where you will put in all the recipes that you have cooked before um, to, to your customers, okay? So please uh, don't just write your name and your location that you are an advisor from Hong Kong or wherever. Uh, you can describe a bit about yourself and your service, okay? I think um, this is to better market yourself, all right? So um, if you are wondering what I'll be cooking tomorrow? The answer is I also don't know yet. Okay, so um, I also don't know yet. Seriously, but I have pork ribs. So I think tonight I will look through my recipes and decide what to cook. All right. So are you all cooking along with me? Is anyone here other than Joanna and Shirlene from Hong Kong? Um, who else is cooking along with me? You see, even 450 gram of pork is a lot. It's a lot. So did you watch Christy just now at 11 a.m.? I'm always on the 12 noon slot if I'm doing a live. And uh, because our lunch time is 1 p.m. Uh, for Christy, she's always on at 11 a.m. So because her lunch time is at 12. And uh, today she's making the Japanese pork rice bowl, butadon. It's a recipe, it's a new recipe actually from, from me. Um, if you have not watched the live, you can go on to her page, Mrs. Pei. And uh, yeah, and you can watch the replay again. Okay, you can watch the replay again. It's a very, very simple recipe that is loved by all the children. It's not that difficult to feed a family of four or five. And it's, in fact, it's cheaper nowadays to cook at home than to eat outside because the delivery charges is pretty expensive for people to deliver to your house. Okay, so many balls, even 450 grams of minced pork. So um, if you are cooking along with me, please do share, the, share your photo later on so that uh, this is to encourage one another. Now, some of you ask me, have I ever failed in uh, cooking anything? Of course, I, I failed so many times. Okay, I even... Shh, don't tell my husband. Sometimes I throw away food. And uh, sometimes I give away. So, yes. So, don't be discouraged if you cannot manage to do um, something well. Just try again. Okay. Even uh, recipes from my cookbook, sometimes you may fail um, due to some other reasons. I, you can always ask me. It could be my mistake as well. So um, just feedback to me what you think. All right. So far, um, my recipes are okay. Everyone managed. So I'm also very happy. So what have you all been doing during this lockdown period, even though, um, I mean, apart from cooking, what have you all been doing at home? Wow, so many, you see, so much.
you all enjoy the time that you have at home. Do you all cook a lot? How many meals do you cook a day? I know Christy cook four times a day, five times a day. Okay, it's almost. Now today's live may take a little longer if you wish to see me complete the whole thing. Um, but uh, let's see, okay? I may say bye bye earlier. We are still making the balls here. Two meals a day only, Zarina. Good for you. I also two meals. Enough already. Even two meals is a lot to handle. Wow, so many. 400. I lost count already. I didn't count, in fact. Later, I count for you, okay? 450 grams of uh, mince pork can make how many balls? And what are the size? This size. This size. So it's very easy to make the, these meatballs if you just join in and if you wish to know the ingredients to make these meatballs go to my earlier post last night I have prepared the ingredients list for you to follow otherwise you can hear me repeat which is 450 gram of a minced pork 50 gram of a chopped bacon 40 grams of um, breadcrumbs half an egg one shallot one garlic and uh, I have seasonings like um, onion powder half a teaspoon garlic powder half a teaspoon smoked paprika powder a quarter teaspoon a quarter teaspoon of pepper uh, half a teaspoon of salt oh, is it or quarter teaspoon I cannot remember so basically these are all the ingredients that I put in to my meatballs Alright, so we have basically Alright, let me wash my hand and I will pour out the pasta, okay? the pasta now drain it we can save up uh, half a bowl or a bowl of the pasta water whether or not we are going to use it, I do not know yet. Okay, today I am actually making a, a spaghetti meatballs casserole. So um, just just save it up first. Yeah. Just save up a bowl of pasta water for just in case. Okay. Right here. You can add in a knob of butter to mix around with your hot pasta. Just mix in about one tablespoon of butter for better flavor, okay, to flavor your pasta. This is what I normally do. 
So toss it around. And I have prepared a casserole dish. Alright. So I will put the pasta here. The pasta that I tossed with a little bit of butter. Now I am cooking for you 300 gram of pasta here. Not for you, for my family. We have 300 gram of spaghetti here. Alright, so we set this aside first. Alright, okay? So, uh, continue on with this and we will heat up the pan now on medium heat. You don't need to... Um, when you are using any brand of pen, not just um, Vital Craft pen, you actually don't need to use high heat. Okay, it's not encouraged to cook your food on high heat. I always um, put the fire on uh, medium heat. Okay, now many of you ask as well, Vital Craft pot works on, um, of course, works on gas stove, works on fire. Uh, Vital Craft pot also works on induction okay it's a japanese brand so let's heat up the pan first okay wash our hand okay so Basically, our pasta sauce is, you can see or not, it's done, it's done, okay, see, it's done. This is our pasta sauce, okay. Let's put it back first. Now, um... To test if the pan is properly heated up, let's see, see you can see or not. Okay, now uh, we will do this test. Okay, when you can see balls of water dancing around, I know you cannot see, it's a bit far for you, uh, but I do make a few videos to show this. If When you sprinkle water into the pan, this is a stainless steel pan. When you sprinkle water into the into the pan and, and the water droplets actually dance around like little balls, it means your stainless steel pan is properly heated up. Okay, now is the time that we put in the oil, cooking oil. Some cooking oil. Swirl the pan around. We are going to pan fry this um, meatballs. All right. So So are you all having this for your lunch or your dinner? So once this is done, we will put this meatballs on top of our pasta and pour in our tomato sauce sprinkle on with cheese and a drizzle of um, and a drizzle of whipping cream okay if you are taking a look at the ingredients list that I prepared for you last night you can see that I actually need a bit of cooking oil I mean whipping cream okay I'm turning the heat to low now move it around it doesn't stick actually it doesn't stick if you properly heat up your stainless steel pan it doesn't stick um, because some of you bought the stainless steel pan 
from me and asked me how to use it so i did an explanation and uh, i hope you all are good to go by the way this is the pen that um this is the pen that some of you bought from me the stainless steel pen which i'm using also so the whole pen can actually goes into the oven because the whole thing including the lid is stainless steel so um yeah so you can pan fry here and finish up in the oven finish off cooking in the oven the whole pan including the lid can goes into the oven all right so um because some of you ask me what is the difference between um stainless steel pan and um between stainless steel pan and non-stick pan okay this is uh, okay to be used on induction as well as stove so um, many of you also ask do i still post my books during this lockdown period yes i i still post my books my cookbook so if you want to purchase you can still purchase my cookbooks i have a total of five cookbooks so go to my website www.anysaviorkitchen.com to purchase my cookbook. Okay. And uh, if you want to purchase uh, the Thermomix TM6, I have also given you the price uh, now, which is 6988. Just look at my earlier post and you can see the price for the thermal mix now all right so don't delay this is the time that you can cope with your thermal mix use it frequently use it regularly and make your investment work okay so just move it around just move it around because my hand is dirty. Well, let's make a count how many meatballs that we can get out of 450 grams of minced pork. Let me count, yeah. I think we get 25 balls. So if you are feeding a family of five, each person can get five meatballs which is just nice. The ratio of protein to carbs is just nice. Right. So, just wipe this as well. So just move the pan around when you are frying it, frying the meatballs, okay? I'm still using medium low heat, I'm still using medium low heat, okay? You do not need any kind of pan, doesn't matter what brand, what pan, you do not need to use high heat, okay? Just use medium to medium low heat. And of course, stainless steel pan lasts you a lifetime. Yes, because it is steel. So, um, I know many of you are asking me, uh, have already purchased, in fact, the Moko pan, the, the non-stick pan. Actually, both are good. Okay, but if you want to feel safer, then you use non-stick pan. If you always think that uh, you will, your food will stick to your pan, then go ahead and buy the non-stick pan but actually not a uh, stainless steel pan is equally good okay, it doesn't stick but the key thing is you must heat up your pan properly right you must heat up your pan properly we will cook these meatballs until they are brown on almost all the sides you do need to cook through this because we are going to finish cooking in the oven all right let me go and heat up the oven now. Okay, let me go and heat up the 
oven now. I'll come back in 30 seconds. the sauce and the meatball on top of the spaghetti and then put in the cheese and place it in the oven to melt it. Uh, almost correct. I also don't know. This is the first time I'm making a casserole dish. Okay, a casserole uh, spaghetti meatball dish. Okay, later on I will, I will tell you how I do it. Okay, the meatballs are almost okay. They are brown on almost all sides. See or not? Right? You see? So, just shake. Just shake the pan. It doesn't stick. Okay? It doesn't stick. So, don't worry. And I'm not using a lot of oil. So, white craft pan is very good. Move it around. It's almost done. Okay. Now this is the sauce that we have cooked just now. So we are going to pour this out. Loosen the loosen the pasta. Let's pour some sauce out. I think the meatballs is done. I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay? I'm going to turn off the heat. So, um, I'm going to pour out some of the sauce here first. And, um, let's, let's, okay. Let's toss this around. Let's toss this around to mix it around. A bit so that all the pasta is coated with our yummy uh, tomato sauce. So let's toss this around. Alright, let's toss this around. Okay. Now we are going to put the meatballs on top of the, we still have a bit of sauce left. So let's put the meatballs here. Very good. Tennis elbow, tennis elbow haven't fully recovered. So, we'll just put the meatballs on top of the pasta. Now hang on with me for a while, okay? Um, let me finish off this one in the oven, then you can go off if you want to go off, okay? Let me put everything, assemble everything to show you first. meatballs are in 25 meatballs we have out of 450 gram of minced pork and I even pour in some of the oil from the pan just now all right so we will use up all the sauce here let me
Okay. See? Can see or not? All right. So. Now we will drizzle in our drizzle in our cream. Let me push this around. Okay, drizzle in. This is just two teas, two tablespoons of cream. Let me grab more and then I will let me grab more cream to drizzle on. Okay, I'll drizzle on a little bit more of cream. And we will sprinkle with a little bit of cheese, okay? Grated cheese, any type. We will bake this in the oven, okay, preheated oven 180 degrees Celsius until the cheese melts, all right? And if you find the pasta is a little bit dry, just drizzle in a little bit of olive oil. It's okay, okay? So um, I'm going to bake this. I'll post the photo later on when this is done, all right? So, um... So basically the recipe is done. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you will try this recipe out from my volume 5 cookbook. Okay. Alright. And if you want to purchase the cookbook, you can get it from my website www.anysaviorkitchen.com. Okay. Drizzle before or after is okay. Alright. It's just for taste. Um, better taste. So, um, see you again, everyone. I will show the photo later on when this is done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, watch out for more, more live from other groups, uh, other, other teams. So, um, enjoy your time at home. And see you again, everyone. Bye-bye.